glory to the Sweden Empire! We are back here in this awesome let's play of EU4! 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 Yeah! Oh man, that... When you chant something three times and say it three times, you usually have a really good adrenaline rush. And that's what I feel right now, because right now I feel just great. Legitly just great. So basically guys, um... We are doing... I'm gonna be doing a lot of things this episode. Basically one... I'm gonna be getting my troops over here, okay, to get, to get, you know, good stuff. All right, next thing I'm gonna be doing, you know, to like, cause we have to kill all these rebels if you guys did not get what I was getting at. Next one I'm gonna be doing is getting my first advisor so that we can do stuff. Stability cost, tax, national modify. We're gonna get that one. He'd be good. Um, we can't get anyone else yet. Okay. Anyways, with our tax, I'm basically going to try to fill up all my advisory slots so we can start making more technology so that we can start doing more things and doing more things like that. Anyways, um, we're also going to be looking at Novgorod for potential expansions. I know I just got out of war, but we really got to keep expanding so that we can keep our energy up. So let me see, who are their, uh, who are their potential, I, what I mean to say is, what is the diplomatic situation here? They have a good cores on a couple of these territories. I'm not imagining that they would be able to do it. Uh, choose for the almonds. Well, let me see. Oh, Burgundy has some land over here. Let's see. Cores and claims. Let's see. I'm looking. There's a specific map mode I'm looking for. Diplomacy. Right here. Oh, okay. I was looking for that. Basically, guys, what I'm looking for is I want to see if they have any rivals nearby which I could use against them. Hey, we're one of the rivals. That's so awesome. So yeah, Novgorod considers us a rival. It also considers Normandy a rival. Not really seeing where the Normandy part comes in, but okay. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is... We're going to be setting um, Novgorod as one of our rivals. Consi considering they always set us as one of their rivals, it really does not matter too much. But why are we doing this? So that we can figure out if we can make some alliances nearby to uh, fight them. Because we want to steal some land from them. Basically what I want to get is this little province, this little like colonial province over here. And... Uh, Novgorod, Novgorod, I still have to go down. And there we go. He's one of my rivals. Anyways, um, yeah. We basically have to... We basically have to, like, steal this land. And what I'm also thinking, guys, I'm also thinking of stealing this little trade node right here. Because right here in St. Petersburg, this is an awesome trade node. So having this right here would be a great advantage to our empire and a great blow to their empire. Just like as it was back in the, uh... Some Swedish guys going to probably be baying at me, but I think... It was a 1700s war with St. Petersburg. Except this time it's happening in reverse, where instead of the Russians attacking you guys, it's we attacking them. Which I think is a way cooler history. So anyways, but before that happens, we're going to be doing a couple things. One, I'm going to be not supporting my fleet maintenance, because I don't really need to be supporting my fleet maintenance right now. Um, I'm going to be grouping up my entire army. With John Leland in control, I'm going to go charge these rebels. These rebels scum. Die. Die, the rebels. Oh, and somebody already offers an alliance because I made good. Okay. Livian, Livon Order. You guys are right there. Oh, uh, you guys, yeah, I can deal with you guys. Let's see, how much army do you have? Six. Yes. That's actually a good sized army for what we need to do. All right. I'm also, who else should I also be doing claims on? I don't want to do any of the Holy Roman Empire. So let me make sure I know what the Holy Roman Empire is. Okay, that's the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so the Teutonic Order is not a part of the Holy Roman Empire. Do they have any good alliances? Mm, basically, no. Um, what I might also, what I'm probably also going to be doing is um, good alliances. Is it Vassal Vassal Muscovy? I should have known that one. Mm. Um, basically, what else we're also going to be doing is. Let's see. So we have a alliance with you guys. That's interesting. That means we have a good kind of solid core group to attack Muscovy with, which is good. All right. Um, we're also going to be needing to get some more support rebels. I don't. Uh, well, I don't really need to be doing anything with that. Uh, 
I don't really see any point of doing anything else. I think that's all we really need to do. Okay, you guys go over here, and I'm hoping that when... Now I have an alliance right here. What I'm going to do, guys, is basically I'm going to wait for Novgorod to declare a stupid war against Muscovy or Lithuania. And then what we're going to do is quickly sweep in with our alliances. Cause with our alliance with um, the Libyan Order, and we're just going to basically go crush them. Like, just destroy Novgorod. Coloni Colonial Discovery! Oh yeah, we have that colony up there. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, f I completely forgot. So our colonists have stumbled upon an amazing discovery in a new... What? That's not the new world! What are you guys smoking? <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know, I have a colony right here. And they're saying this is the new world. I, in retrospect, it could be a new world. It's a new world to us, considering we live in the snowy white lands of... The snowy um, white lands in the north, but still, that's that's stretching it. Still, that's stretching it. But anyways, um, it is a real delicacy back in. Yeah, they really gotta get the script just slightly right, just in case you know. I, I understand this is a predetermined script, but I wish there was a predetermined script for Sweden or like other colonies over here in northern, northernmost, because this this would not make sense. This does not make sense. So the major training, okay. So basically, do we want more? Diplomatic power, or do we want more administration power? Uh, Diplo. Oh, wait, I meant, I meant economic. Administrative. Whoops. I kind of failed there. Anyways, guys. Oh, I forgot to mention. We also have to be looking for... One of our also goals is also to be looking for an heir. Because right now, the gate king of King Carl Ribbing. He's a great guy, but he also needs to get a good heir. Because we don't really have an heir right now, and that's kind of sad. But, yeah, um... Where was I going before this? I was talking about something else. Maybe claims? Claimants? No, I wasn't talking about claimants. It's not what I was talking about, but... My king, Stockholm, discoveries, yada, yada, yada. Good things to happen. <laughs> Basically what that's saying. Good things happen, so technology. We're getting really close on marketing. We're really not close on anything else. I think it's because we're slightly... We're slightly get... We're, we're becoming behind. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh, yes, King Carl had a, had a son. Please tell me he's not bad. You're not bad. Please, King Carl Ribbing the second. Or, what? Wait, how do we already get to the eighth? Okay, this is going to be the ninth, I guess? Oh, my goodness, this guy's going to be awesome. I think this guy might actually be, like, uh, this guy is better in terms of uh, one thing. His father's only better in one thing. This guy's better in two things, and he's a much more well-rounded character, so... The next character we have is definitely not going to be a passive-aggressive person. He's going to expand the empire. Mm. But let's see how much King Carl can get done with. Because honestly, I think King Carl is an awesome character right now. He's led his country through, you know, multiple, multiple wars. And, you know, he's the one who really got Sweden, well... I bet, I bet, I'm basically writing his history before he's even done. But he basically got Sweden to the point... Of being a great power and I mean he's getting his realm underneath control which is what he need to do so you know long live King Cole Cole maybe it's Cole also it could be also Cole I guess let's see how are we doing in this fabricating claim it's not gonna be done for a little bit so let's just relax just gonna relax I have to wait a little bit by the way uh, can I get another the... no not yet I have to we have to wait a little bit more longer money how much longer until these rebels give up, by the way? Like, I should be crushing... There we go. I think the first wall just broke, so... We should almost be done with the seeds. That's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, and our missionary points... Not really not really too keen about missionary points, because we don't really need to cover any of our provinces. I mean, the only place that's different is this shamanist province that is so, like... I don't know pig-headed about itself, not pig-headed, no, so up itself, that it thinks it's a part of the new world. Well, guess what, shamanist? You guys aren't a part of the new world. You're a part of the old world. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I, I feel like we, we as Swedens have just not, I don't know, I feel like, yeah, just yeah, I, I, my statement right there, yeah, I'm just gonna go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so John, I should probably, oh, by the way, I needed, as soon as we're done with this conquest, I need to disconnect this general because 
after after you are done conquesting things, you really don't need generals because generals just cost you money, and money is expensive. Well, money does makes the world go round, but it also makes you lazy. Mm. New tech. Let's get some new tech. Yeah, new tech. I can build some docks now and marketplaces. What a wonderful world. Okay. So let's see. I'm just yeah. I'm just having to let's come on. Seize down. Seize down. Seize the province down. And guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this, guys? Watch this. Three, two, one. Boom. 1850. Happy New Year, everyone. Hmm. I didn't know it saves like on the other day. Okay, so yes, we finally finished up with that siege. So now rebels should stop spawning as often, and I can do you click, do you click these guys? This will make the army commander out of your rule. No, I don't want to do that. No leader. Okay, let's get that. And then what else I need to do is I need to go to my economy. I'm going to start supporting our men about there. 2.0 ducats a year. That is a pretty good amount of ducats. And yeah, now we're just going to be chilling out here in Sweden and waiting for some of our claims to start coming through. And we should honestly also start claiming a little bit more of Denmark. I should not forget to do that. Because the provinces that we need to get are New Zealand and why not? Let's get some of these. But yeah, the provinces, Denmark, basically what I'm saying guys, Denmark's not going to be strong enough to deal with me anymore. Once I start getting good alliances and start splitting them up, they will not be able to do anything. Also, I should probably be asking... Oh, dang, I should have asked these guys if they want a royal marriage. It would have been pretty awesome to have a good alliance there with... With these guys. Royal marriage. Uh, this government does not... Oh, the government does not allow in royal marriages. So I guess it was not a good thing that I just did that. So, it's all fine. It's all good. It's all good and dandy in the life of kings and queens. So, right now... Our army is just chilling out in its little place right here. Really, it's just relaxing because we need to kind of cool down from what we perceive as a very terrible independence war. King Carl is, you know, just trying to organize his council and we can buy our next thing. Better relationships over time, diplomatic co technology cost, global trade power. I haven't really been working with trade that much. Let's... Let's get just a little bit of trade power, I guess. And then we're going to have to wait for these guys. At least, okay, we're going to have to wait till we get 15.7 ducats. Which I think each advisor costs us a good amount. Yeah, it does. Also, this colonial maintenance is also kind of annoying. Why do you not become a state? We discovered an agent. My king has been informed that we are trying to claim their land. It's good to know. And, oh, shoot. Are you at war, Novgorod? Yeah, you are at war. Let's see, how's Muscovy? Oh my goodness, what happened to you, Muscovy? And there's heretics! What the heck? Why are there always heretics in your land? Okay, I'm gonna go send my soldiers to go after these guys. Uh, don't fail me. <laughs> that, that's, that's the bottom line here, guys. Don't fail me in your conc if you're taking down the heretics. Even though I would have heretics in my land. This, I, I thought this was a pretty cool land. Can I get my... Let's get my general back in charge. Because you know what? He's great at this kind of thing. Oh! Barnacles! I completely forgot about this. Okay. Um, let's get this all the way up. I completely forgot about this. Can't believe I completely forgot about this. Should start to win now. There we go. Alright. Go back to you guys. Back to the center. Yeah, I know, the revolutionary risk is not exactly pleasant. I mean, look at those revolutionaries. They are happening everywhere. I could invest some of our um, diplomatic power, a uh, dipl diplomatic power to rest them up. So what I'm, I might do, just once. I need to get, we need to get a little bit more down, that way we have a little bit more control, because I want to make sure our stability is pretty good. Anyways, um... Right now, I'm looking at Novgorod and thinking, should I... T I'm not going to attack right now, guys, if that's what you're thinking, because this is kind of like my golden opportunity. But I don't want to attack just now. So what I need to do is I need to wait for at least my other claim on this little province right here to come in. And then from there, we can go from there. But that's not going to be done for at least a good amount of time. We're waiting. We're, we're at least waiting another like couple weeks. So once that finishes up, 
hopefully they'll still be at war and hopefully these guys will join in my war because then having both these armies and that armies I know my uh, my uh, infantry isn't the best right now but with those two armies I think I'll have enough to just completely own the Novgorod troops and plus they're gonna be dealing with Muscovy too I mean Muscovy is going to be a pretty big factor in this mm. and hopefully I can get it back all together and everyone it's now winter time where everything becomes dark and gloomy and you almost feel like you almost feel like the world is just ending yeah that's how that's how winter makes me feel sometimes it just okay let's get back to here over here then it's not lose or lose ah we can lose prestige prestige is not a big hit for me not at all I mean I care about legitimacy because that could actually affect me with my vassals and stuff but I don't care about the other things this is actually disputed success in truce will expire so 1853 so I just have to do if I could do a quick lightning war with Novgorod then from there we can go to war with Normandy and start claiming all this like if the next war we go to war with war with with Denmark we should be able to claim like basically whoo like we'll be able to claim this 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 and this and from there then we can start like destroying no Norway and stuff because Norway actually doesn't have any troops at least I don't think because usually they stack the troops inside the capital and since they have no troops like yeah I don't think they have any troops in the land I think we basically destroyed them from last our last encounter together so that's good mm. okay now diplomat just finished up his claymore okay so this is the moment of troops will our will our faithful vassals join in for war against claiming never yes okay you are an awesome guy let's see how much longer until this also finishes okay yeah I think you know for the first war against Novgorod I can take two I can take two provinces I know I could probably take more than that but right now two provinces is good enough for me so let's go so let's see we got that declared war and let's see do you guys join in did you guys join in did you guys join in against yes you guys did okay so now that I have the Livian order on my side we should be able to win this so let me do maximum amounts of army maintenance do this let's raise war times taxes uh, monthly war cost of reducing land maintenance Nah, you know what let's not do wartime taxes if it really does become extreme then I will but let me go put my troops over there at the border all right we're also going to I'm gonna go send two troops or at least one troop probably one horseman unit and he has a special job like he has the most specialist job ever he's gonna go take over these two places right over here basically like this all right the main army is going to go over here in the Navarre and we're going to start sieging down everything. The reason why this guy's going up here is because these two things are colonies. So, everything's good there. And I'm sending my main army over here to kind of make sure that we're right next to Novgorod if they try anything. Ah, oh, dang. And they engage me right off the bat. It should not be able to win though because I am support supporting my army fully. And I'm just right here. And I'm awesome. So they should not win. Yeah, sissy, you guys better not win. You guys better not win. Oh my goodness, they're gonna win. Dang, my sailors stink. Like, what are we gonna do? I'm, I'm seriously wondering what we're gonna do when we, once we reach the new world. Like, are we just gonna sit there and be like, yeah, we reached the new world. Okay, and, um, I need to be doing some things, so, let's see. Let's be, hmm. I have to be thinking for a second. I'll think about for a second what I could be doing right now. But let me uh, say this right now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next.